Hello, my name is Jerry Comfort. I'm Senior Wine Education Manager for Behringer Winery. You may not know where Behringer is. It's over in California, north of San Francisco, an hour and a half in the heart of Napa Valley. Behringer is Napa Valley's most historic winery and the most awarded winery in the United States. Now, I've been a chef for many, many years prior to coming to Behringer in 1991. Then I was Behringer chef for 10 years. Now I do wine education representing Behringer around the world and teaching about Behringer wines and food and wine pairing. In my research, I've come to the conclusion about many things in food and wine pairing and how simple we can keep them. In food and wine pairing, I'm going to give you just three little simple takeaway. Three little rules that you can apply to food and wine pairing. The first one may sound too simple, but it's not. Most of the food that we eat has salt, right? Well, when we have salt on our food, that makes the food wine friendly. You could have any Behringer wine you'd like your favorite wine with your favorite food and you'd like that. That's because of the salt balance. Now, there are times when we have foods that are very low in salt. That might be something like sushi. So at that time, think sushi and sake. I want a wine that's very light and unoaked. And that might be more like a Behringer Stone Cellar Chardonnay, a Behringer Pinot Grigio, maybe even a Behringer White Zinfandel. So foods without salt need wines without oak. Now the next, the third rule, is when I have sweet food, it pairs easiest with sweet wine. Think of this, many times people have experienced when they got up in the morning, they brushed their teeth, and then they went down and had fruit juice like orange juice, and all of a sudden the orange juice gets very sour. We don't want that to happen. So when you have sweet food, it's easiest to pair with something like Behringer White Zinfandel because the sweetness in the wine then balances to the sweetness in the food. Now, what I'd like to show you is a short and simple uh, demonstration about food and wine pairing. You can select your favorite wine and just have it at ready a little sweet fruit. It could be, well, maybe an apple, maybe a piece of watermelon. I want you to have something sour, maybe a lemon or a lime, and then just a salt shaker. Now, the first thing you want to do is take a sip of your favorite wine. You enjoy it? Look at the balance of the wine and how delicious it is. Then, go ahead and try a piece of the sweet fruit. And notice, wine does not change the taste of food. But then, go to your favorite wine. Ooh, the wine gets very sour. So sweet food is easiest with sweet wine. Now, take your sour food, lemon or lime. Not too much, it's very sour. Mm. Now, try it with your wine. Mm. That's nice and smooth. You see, when we have sour food, it makes wine soft. So sour food is actually quite wine friendly. Now last, we are going to combine like a chef. And we take sweet and sour. And if you have a little salt, add a little bit of salt. It's quite delicious. Go back to your wine. And the wine tastes delicious. So there's the three simple rules. One, most of the time you can enjoy your favorite wine with your favorite dish. Then, if you notice that your food is like steamed fish or like tofu or like sashimi, very low salt, try wines that are very fresh and light without what's oak, such as Behringer Founders Estate Chardonnay or White Zinfandel. And lastly, when you do have sweet foods, maybe like dessert or certain uh, sweet glazes, Make sure your wine has a little bit of sweetness to it and it'll pair it very nicely. So I hope you enjoy these tips and I hope you enjoy your wine. Cheers.